All right, everyone, welcome back. We're kind of in the middle of a thing on this one because I couldn't exactly pause out of it, but uh, it's Captain Milne, uh, joined by Crash Carl. Uh, we had just left uh, Wormtoe, um, and we're on our way to Grofheim, so let's fucking, let's get it. Grofheim's uh, quite a few days yeah. out, says Kramer, but nothing worse than crossing the wastes, I imagine. If there's anywhere you might be safe, dude, my voice is like dying. It's there. <coughs> oh, God. You save yourself for another long march to have the town of Wormtoe join you. Yeah, we got Varl! Alright, let's fucking go, baby. So the bad thing is, we don't have a lot of fighters, so that's a good thing because, like, we have a lot of peasants, not fighters. Uh, while walking, the words of a mother's song reaches ah. you. It's soothing, nuanced, and about your current journey. When she finishes, when she finishes, a man begins his own tale. Uh, the woman quickly responds with another poem. And the entire caravan slows to listen to the entertaining competition. Join the crowd and cheer on. We need to stay vigilant, ignore the poetry contest, and keep an ear out for danger, or join in with a verse of your own. Join in with a verse of your own. shocked when the first line of your poem rings out. You mimic both contestants, adding your own spin on their tales. At last, you end with a joke at their at your own expense, and the peasants wildly applause. Yeah! 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 yeah. They love it. And a small dick for me. <laughs> just, Brooke just reciting a poem with this Yeah, just, neck. just. I'll have you know, I have over three hundred confirmed kills. Just <laughs> copy pasta. <laughs> Uh, a trail of blood leads to a clearing where you find a large, wounded Varl. He is gnawing on his shield, swearing at no one in particular, and, and occasionally slamming his cudgel uh, on the ground. If not for the heavy bleeding, you'd leave this one alone with a second thought. Uh, leave food and medicine and walk away. We can help if you want. Try to have healers tend to his wounds or abandon him and move on. Uh, we can help him. heartbeat. The Varl is on his feet, swinging his massive weapon. You jump clear as the cudgel smashes through the trunk of a tree. Your party scatters to avoid the falling timber. Once you recover, the Varl is long gone, leaving only another trail of blood, which you decide against following this time. Yeah, let's just leave that alone. We tried. Uh, you haven't seen Alette for much of the day. When you do find her, she's returning to camp alone from a fair distance away, looking rather sullen. She keeps her eyes on the ground as you approach. <laughs> What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on here? I feel like things are changing so quickly. It's, 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 it's not just that. Everything is going so wrong. This I'm talking to Echo a lot. Uh... Um, what's he been telling you? He told me how he and Ona for kin. Echo had a sister who married Ona, but she died a long time ago. They've been bound since, but then Ona fought without him. She's left him behind without a word. That's why he came after us. I know Echo's a, a douchebag, but I want to believe in do him. You want to I want, I want him to, to be good, story? but I feel like he's going to... Um, Eventually yeah, you find not? Odif back in the camp and relate the story. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Is, is that echo to him? Size. It's, it's, it's true about the sisters. She died of a fever when we were just married. Surprised they opened up like that. I left him in Frost Feather, he continues. He'd be found one day, ready to kill his own men the next. And Hums, he would. I'd, I'd make the same decision to tomorrow. Let, let the issue drop or confront Echo. Um. There's some big oh decisions God. here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So, I, 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 I feel really like he can find, I feel like Echel? he trusts Onif. I feel like if we try to confront Echol, Echol will probably take it as like an aggression thing and probably like, it'll probably turn into a dick measuring contest. Alright. 
Ah, uh, let's just let's just drop it. You feel certain Alec got the message? Instead of stirring up more trouble, you decide to let the issue drop in a tighter watch on Echo. Yeah, I think I'm that pretty was sure the right I move. confronted him when I played. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let it go. Oh, we got some tunes. We haven't had a oh another god stuff. We haven't had a battle in a long All right. while. This looks like a Pokemon. Yeah, the... yeah, I know. It's been. Have we? No. We we haven't battled yet. No, we did. We we fought Echoes. Since we started remember. recording. That's... But I mean, that was yes. two episodes ago. The right. Godstone of Marek looms into view. Upon it, carved a great ocean beast. Jagged stones jut out of the snow like shark fins. It's hard to imagine the Nord felling waste being filled with water at one time, but the Godstone stands as a reminder of the vast lake it used to look across. A blessing! Shuts one of the men in your caravan, holding up what looks like silver coin. Uh. It's a fish scale, he says, pointing out the rainbow pattern that shows in the sunlight. Soon a curious child has found another hiding in the snow, and a third is discovered. Perhaps they'll bring us luck, you over here, and before long the caravan uh -huh. has become obsessed with gathering the shiny scales. Leave the caravan to take their time, cut them off after a reasonable amount of time, or leave now before this gets out of hand. Right. Now I'll just let the caravan. By the end of the second thing. day, the scavenger hunt still continues unabated, and even you are starting to feel something in the back of your mind like you need one to have one of those scales. You shake it off, uncertain whether to let this continue. Yeah, let's get out of here. Something's weird. You start weird. to wonder Something if something unnatural is like in their minds. When the call is to leave is met with open aggression. Ivor helps to get them moving again. You wonder how long they would have kept searching if you let them. I believe if you keep letting them searching, you something get like, magic a was... really, really good item. But you also lose like a shit oh, ton of you? supplies, which we don't have. Yeah, I th something. Like, I feel we like have something seven was days worth of supplies, like, and magic. I don't, I don't know how far out we are. Oddleaf calls you over, grinning. Oh. A row of women oh. holding bows of dif differing age and experience line up before a row of trees in the distance. They fire, doing an impressive job of hitting the trunks. I think they're ready to fill some dredge with feathers. One woman sells and shot her arrow. She stands perfectly still. The others watch just as the wind shifts. She lets go, and her arrow flies not into one of the trees, but a snow rabbit that had scurried out from underneath. Dinner, she says, smiling. The group of men from the cabin approach. <laughs> Listen here, says one. Practice all you want. My wife ain't fighting dredge. The other men agree in a chorus. <laughs> we don't want to see a battlefield full of dead wives and daughters. <laughs> That's not what? my goddamn America. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Encourage Olive to train even more archers. Stand by the women becoming fighters. I'm having second thoughts, Oddly. Um, stand by the women. The men argue their point, but eventually we are strong. Relax. Thanks, says Oddly. To be honest, it was harder than I expected. When the more people who can hold their own, the better. The women return to camp not just as clansmen, but as fighters. Yeah. Yeah! How did we get more food? Alright. Yeah. Women power. We got an entire rabbit. day's worth of food from a rabbit? A scout returns with a nearly Why frozen not? child. I almost stepped on her in the snow. Looks like she must have been running from something, he says. Patches of blue model her pale skin, but her chest rises and falls ever so slightly. Even just carrying her along could kill her in a state like this as a woman. We could be in danger here, points at another. Keep moving in, but let the healers tend to her. Stop the caravan for a rest and tend to the girl, or stop and look for other survivors. Um. Do do wait? No. Is this where dredge come from? No, okay, I didn't know if this was like a zombo zombies. thing where the, this child's gonna turn it. Okay, all right. Um. It's not like a White Walker situation. Hmm. Big does it? We don't have very much food, so I think a rest would be moving. not a good idea. Yeah, that's a fighter. Stay alert for any threat Hopefully while the caravan moves take on. The healers rub the girl's arms and legs under the blankets to no avail. An hour later, the healer approaches you with tears in her eyes. She says nothing, only shakes her head. I mean, you can't you can't save everyone, yeah, if bro. We had like, more supplies. 
Yeah. If we had more it, supplies, I probably would have been fucking the, unsafe. The there, health but. of one versus the health of, of everyone. You hear a whistle on the wind and spot a long line yeah. of varl far up ahead heading towards you. Behind them is a swarm of dredge and a trail of bodies leading off in the distance. Get down there! Ox oh. Crummer. Fuck, we really need better morale, but oh, okay. we don't have enough food. Don't let them spread out, shouts the lead Varl as you approach the battleground. Soon you almost regret finding yourself fighting alongside them, facing against a daunting number of dredge. <sighs> you d uh, dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count. There's 172 of them. You have 193 fighters and 62 Varl. The two forces are about evenly matched. There's no guarantee of victory here. Charge, formations, hold them off, retreat, or, or oversee. Okay. Formations! Start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account terrain, uh, morale, and the look at your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. Start yeah, rallying your forces that. and gather your allies to you, preparing to enter the fray. Here it comes. Oh, we have to salt uh, again. Oh yeah, Fasal, I remember Wait, him. What are you? You're a war leader? What the fuck do you do? Um. Uh. Do we want Fasal? It's the Crummer. Do we want to take a lead out? Do I do? How do you want to do this? Let's put uh, let's put Fasal in okay. instead of Crummer. That's fair. Yeah, that doesn't right. mind killing the dredge. Uh, are we ready? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's get it. Yeah. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Let's get it! Just the dredge look on in awe as you're just blaring rap music and just fucking like... What? In God's name? Yeah. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna think I'm gonna quickly kill this dude. Okay. Uh, see, the problem is if we focus over here, I feel like he's gonna come right. behind and take out our, our like weak people. What to do? Sounds oh. like that's kind Those of war drums. Oh. All right. War. What are you gonna do? Chill. Nothing. All right, Mogan. So you're gonna go for the dude on the right first? Ah, oh, these fucking guys. These fucking guys. And then you're gonna try to get everybody on the other side of the shield, dudes. Uh, good, good call. Ah, you can handle. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Hmm. Damn, she get it from far away. She can. Start getting Quite that the armor marksman. down. Another shot. Ooh, ooh. Suck on that, Trebek. Um, I'm gonna save a little bit of willpower. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mother. That was a big hit. No! Oh, okay, that's fine. It's not bad. Yeah, smack the shit out of him. Yeah, see a bit. Oh! Okay. Oh, we'll see. Yeah! Rook can take a hit. Yeah. Nice.
Yeah. Yeah, I think just keep hitting from a distance. Working that armor. Ooh. Yep. Keep, keep blasting. Yeah, get rid of that shit. He hits fucking hard, though. I don't want to move. That didn't do anything. That's pretty funny. We tried. No, no one hit our friend. Yeah. Don't want, don't want to hit the friend. Say so. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh! I don't know how he survived that. Yeah, Rook. Big hit. Nothing. All right. I don't know how that dude's going What he yeah, has to work. Oh, good moving, you fucking baby. Sorry, right, I hit tanky boy. Ah, fuck. Ah. You're done. My dick. Almost. Yeah. At least he's weak now. <laughs> fucking dumbasses keep going after your tank. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, that's a good thing. My daughter! Nah, Who goes yeah. next? will die. Oh, oh, I thought he was dead. Oh, that would have wrong been. move. Kind of funny. Stay you. still, you coward. Yep. Take them all back, yeah, the enemies will be pushed GG. back all the way down the line. You can take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. Pull back before they regroup, or do you want to try to kill a few more dredge? Let's Light get out and of there. scatter into the distance. Alright, not bad. Man. Yeah, we only lost. Yeah, not not bad. Twenty one people. Less mouths to feed. Uh, who is doing? Was that, are you doing for salt? That was that was me. Isn't this a damn curiosity? This is the second time I've seen some been sent to find a varl who is heading my direction with humans in tow. Yeah, that's right. He was with the other squad last time. I, I could have swore for salt was definitely with. Uh, uh, with the other group. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what are the dredge? What are the dredge doing up here? Gods, does anybody know what's going on around here? They leveled Grofheim to the ground. We've been losing ground for days. Yarn deer is an art now. They sent me to gather Krumer and the rest from Wormtoe when we ran across this bunch of slack. And there's a lot more where they came from. Is this all the varl you've got, Krumer? He's what have you been doing? Guy. Eating each other? Many went to Bloodswalker. Are you telling me Grofheim's completely gone? 
And Vognir's the dead. Slag on our heels. The Varl sent you off north. Probably dead. The world's ending. Come on. This is old news. We're gathering Ifart. That's where we need to go right now. Fasal takes Wait. a long moment to look over the caravan of men, women, and children behind you. Not, not them. What do, you, what do you mean, not them? Unless you're taking, unless you're a king or mender, humans don't step foot in Einertoft. Ein, Ein now isn't the time for this discussion. Damn it, Fasal, who cares about that? What in the depths happened to Grofheim? Before Fasal can reply, a low grumble grabs your attention, growing louder by the moment. So Fasal was there when the other squad yeah. found Grafheim leveled. And so I guess he went off to go war or to find... Uh, well, he went to uh, the small settlement to try to gather as many people as possible. Even though it's beyond sight, all eyes turn to Grothheim's gotcha. direction as the rumbling becomes deafening, transformly, transforming quickly into crackling and splintering. It's coming closer. It shouts for salt taking off yeah. towards Iron Toft. <laughs> Don't stop until you reach Hadrvarg. Alright. Um, so that's not great. So we're just fucking running for our lives now, is that it? Oh fuck, look at that giant thing! Yeah, destroying him out. Uh what? So we're just dead, right? There's nothing we can do against that thing. Yeah. Big I wasn't expecting big giant giants. Hey look, another godstone. Psst. Yeah, well yeah, at least we're not right. wasting our Armor supplies. Out. That's kinda cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, you saw the glimpses yeah. of uh, some kind They're of running from giant a giant dragon serpent thing. dragon thing. It looks like one of the things that was on one of the gods. Oh, this guy. Oh, this more far. Defenses. I don't know how those spikes are gonna hold up against a dragon thing. Yeah. I don't know what that. Hey, yeah, are we here? Are we finally, stuff. finally doing it? After three oh, terrifying know, days of tremors, we reached the with our gods guide? of Harburg, which is teeming with Varl, who want to know what's happening. Others busily mend makeshift defenses set up around the gods of Harburg, creator of the Varl. Uh, he says, Hold up. Yeah. Pants of assault between Long Gas Fair. We're going to have a toss. This music got really loud there. It did. You're still standing? Well, most of you, rest up. The mountain just on. sank into the earth and some, something's out there. You're just gonna send us away? I don't know who you are, silly butt. But you're not going to Ein Einentoft. There's a couple hundred of Varl here who will back where are we supposed to? Where are we supposed to go? Back the way we came? We're stuck between two mountain ranges. In one direction, a few thousand Varl. In the other, an army of dredge and whatever caused that quake. Hedder Toft is the Varl study. This shouldn't be news to a Varl. Don't you recognize who you're talking to? Surprise suddenly flashes across Vassal's face. The other Varl's starting to come closer now. You hear Yingvar being whispered between them. I think this might be the one person you want to lend into Einer Toft. Uh, whoa, what, do we just, like, <laughs> need the Jesus Christ of the Varl? We're about to find or, out. Are right? we finding out that? You, the humans come with me. All of them. So Ivor just like, like Ivor and Jesus Kamar are stalking away, pushing past the mob of curious onlookers. Ivor, who are you? This is this is this or is, is he like Aragorn Trump, from right? like Lord of the Rings. Some other time, Rook. Oh, it's Trump. He's the he's the Trump of the Varl. Well, you spend the rest of the day recovering. Yeah, big news. Oh no, that definitely used supplies. Varl come and go in packs, and most of the chatters well, about the quake that just sank the mountains into the earth, or the dreads that are still on their way. You hear rumors that a massive chasm opened where the earth split. Inspect the godstones, so just leaving immediately, you'll see what other news you can pick up. Let's inspect the godstone. The little, you, the little you know about Hardborg is that he was a disciple of the Loom Mother, and learned to create under her guidance. 
He created a few beasts, but soon became bored with simple animals and began combining man and beast, ending up with a varl. That's the myth, anyway. One thing is certain, each varl alive today was created by Hardborg, and now the god is dead. The varl here now are the last ones that will ever exist. A profound sadness washes over you. Kermer is already here. Oh. It's good to pay respects. He says, you stand both, you both stand there in silence. Give this to Yingvar, he says, turning to leave. It was once his, and that stubborn ass refuses to take it back. Kremer hands you a massive studded belt. Suddenly, there's a lot of activity. Word comes from below to retreat to the next village over, and you soon see why. A black shadow is sweeping down the valley from the direction of Grafheim, where the quake or whatever caused it has obliterated. On, spoke, on closer inspection, it's a veritable ocean of dredge, more than you imagined possible. In their midst is a towering giant of a dredge, blood red from head to toe. You gather your things in short order and join a good many varl, leaving the godstone behind. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we here. got the farthing yard. Of course. Ah, oh, the farthing yard. All right. So there's some fuck shit happening. Okay. Yeah, and obviously the Varl who's with us is a big deal. Up ahead! A scout shouts. Some giant hall, but it's empty. <clears throat> you approach the structure, but recognize none of the markings. The walls seem unsteady at best. Finally, sleeping under beneath a roof, you overhear. Several families begin unpacking. We sleep in comfort tonight. Keep everyone back until you're certain it's safe. It was abandoned for a reason. Leave it. Look for any clues about why it was abandoned. Let's, uh... Whoever left here... Uh, whomever left here may have had good reason, you tell the caravan. But after a few tiring hours of searching for clues, you find no answers. The frustration of the wasted time is apparent on everyone. Sleep in it or abandon it? Oh, God... Decisions, decisions. Oh. Let's let's just While go. While most follow you to a further campsite, a few families stubbornly but cautiously enter the hall and bed down. The next day, they rejoin the caravan more refreshed than everyone else. You soon hear complaints of your paranoia. Boo. Boo. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I don't know. Don't know what that was. A little camp. Hey, Ivor tells you we can't stay here long. It'll take up three days, three straight days to cross Burra Pass. So stock up. There's no stopping once we leave. Says a lad appearing Dad, on your side. Dad? Somewhere in the back of your mind, you I feel the same I way. Think. You focus on right. preparations instead, realizing you may be one of the first humans to ever set foot in Einertoft. So, definitely wow. get as many supplies as you can. I mean, that's what we got. Not great. How far out are we? Said, <laughs> said three days. Well, that's yeah, yeah, that's true. Why is the map taking like nine years to load? Einertoft. All right. Oh. Well, I think that is a good place to stop this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when I, on next time, we'll be... Uh, ho I think it seems like both parties will probably be joining up here, is what it seems like. So yeah, we're going to have the full Avengers our, our Assemble situation, next. hopefully in the next episode. Um, but until then, uh, check out the yeah. links down in the description. Uh, please check out the other videos. Um, and... Uh, We'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good one, everyone. Really big shout out to our Patreon supporters KLSK1, Garrison Coley, TrueX23, Ziggy Storm, Senpai Gray, Lieutenant Dan, Wheels OG, and Spiker42. Thank you guys so much.